when Russia and Ukraine strike a decisive blow. When Vladimir Putin refocused his war in Ukraine on the country's east three months ago, he was so bruised by the failures of his initial launch towards Kyiv and desperate for a face-saving success. After a slow and bloody march through Luhansk was finalized with the capture of the city of Lysychansk, the Russian president might consider himself halfway there. But the war has arrived at another crossroads, and fighters on both sides are stealing themselves for a third act of fighting that could tip the balance of the conflict. Russia's anticipated next move will be to continue the path it has forged through Luhansk, moving into Ukrainian-controlled parts of Donetsk and attempting to wear down and encircle Ukrainian troops in that oblast too. Doing so would deliver the symbolically significant Donbass region to Moscow and complete the main objective that Putin laid out as he launched his invasion in February, when he falsely claimed that those regions are spiritually and culturally Russian and that Russian speakers were being persecuted there. But if the timeline and tactics used in Luhansk are repeated, but if the timeline and tactics used in Luhansk are repeated in its neighbor region, it will take another bitter and bloody fight. Zelensky told G7 leaders last month that he wanted to end the war in months, not years. He believes that a grinding conflict is not in the interest of the Ukrainian people. U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan said after the meeting. Whether that is possible relies on numerous factors, many of which are beyond his control. But experts agree that the coming weeks and months of war in eastern Ukraine will go far in determining the future of Europe's largest land war in decades. The battlefield is going to determine what sort of diplomatic settlement is possible and whether one is possible, Bergman said. It's quite unpredictable how this will progress. This is BBS News. Thank you for listening and see you in the next videos.